Hey guys, welcome back to Unmedicated and Dysfunctional, where we medicate through gaming. My name is Kenz. Today we're going to check out a text-based game made by Abishek. Thank you so much for telling me about these games that you make and for emailing. It really means a lot, uh, and I was super excited to check out the work that you've done. So, without further ado, let's begin. Everything just clicks. The void. The void looks at me. Incrementally increasing possibilities, exponentially expanding pain. How could it do this to me? I thought it was my best friend. It could fathom my perception, my heart, my insecurities, my language. It knows... Oh, my fat head is on the way again. <laughs> uh, it knows I hate using wor words like these because I don't... Uh, because I don't know what it means. Like, imagine it... Uh, Imaginary cries, imaginary cries, inauthentic, inauthentic. Ooh. More, I want more, I want more. I want more people, I want more experiences, I want more pleasure, I want more entropy. The expression is painful. The statistically, uh, the statistics say that my actions hurt someone out there intentionally or not, the books say I'm expressing in the wrong way, or I shouldn't at all. My soul tells me that it's pain, pain, painful. Ooh, this is, uh, very poetic. Pain is wrong, an undeniable fact, which is why I am guilty, irredeemable, and I cannot bear it. Uh, whoa, oh, oh, we can scroll now. Well, there, my love. Oi, he's mine. Can I ask you both a question? Who's both? We are one. Entropy. Entropy is here. It keeps me decreasing, and as all the things end, could return me to the void. I honestly, I honestly don't care. I just want to know. Why does it look, sound, and feel like the world is going to end? Why does it taste death and smell the remains of burnt ash every single day? I want to help you. How? The question isn't how, it's why and what. Why do you want- ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't- I don't know what I want. Uh, quick, I want- because I want to tell- uh, I want to, uh, 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 be free from sorrow. <laughs> this, is the, this is the first thing that put me under pressure. The pressure of time beckons. You can't do that, can you? Lethargy grips you and you can't move. Ugh. I don't like the silence, so there we go. Here you go. Thanks, sorry. Why is nobody here today? I kind of feel lonely, uh, drinking by myself. I'm not sure. Maybe everybody called it quits from being so tired. They decided to stay at home and spend time with their families. Or everyone decided to jump off a roof at the same time. The void probably got to them. <laughs> I wish. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, what did you put in it? Can't tell you. It's a secret. Can I give you a hug? Sure. Thanks for that. I had this moment of euphoria and just felt so happy right now. I had to let it out. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right? What? I was just trying to remember what it was... Uh, what the last time was I felt like that. You know, being with you makes me feel composed, smashing time into little be bits and pieces, so that I cannot be reconstructed again, and I'm free. Uh, that's kind of you to say, but I don't feel the same way about myself. I mean, look at me, my face is blotted with... How do I put this? Black ink? It reminds me of the terrible things I've done. Come on, fight back the tears. I seep the life out of others, seeping, shriveling, and performing. Uh, the options here are reassure her, say nothing, give her some time. Uh, if... Reassure? I didn't intend for this to happen. A delicate dance of visual cues, incomprehensible in intricacies of the mind. Our warmths combine her lips and mine. We are both being burnt alive. I like I like that you can click on the keywords here, like alive and drive and I don't know. It's, it, like they were very good choices. Wait, did you sense that? Yes, I did. You know what? Let's go for a drive. No, it's a waste of time. And who decides what's a waste of time? Is it because you're going to die? Okay, then let's go uh, on a drive to experience death. Oh. The astral clock tower looms. No. Why are you counting down? Where are you counting down to? Did I waste five seconds of your time? No. 
I did waste your time. Come on, face the fact. Or rather, let's put it this way. Five seconds have passed. The death of a time, and they continue to pass. Are you now going to give me a great life lesson on the importance of time? Also, I didn't say yes because I wanted to be polite. <laughs> it's true, I wanted to click yes. It didn't let me. It wasn't an option. No, although it is pretty neat. I don't have to worry all of that. I am, after all, the manifestation of the void. Uh, so what do you worry about? Tell me what is... What has your void consumed? And then, empty shelves, although recently I've come across something remarkable, a sort of sad happiness. It made me want to hold tightly, truly, but it's my job to devour it. Let me ask you a question. Yes? Do you believe that life has any meaning? Uh, no, but sometimes I came across people who have lived magnific magnificent lives. Not in an intellectual, emotional, or physical sense, but a life filled with the right kind of intelligence, despite the chasm that they are confronted with. And that fills up my void. Oh, this is like getting right here. Right? Oh, that, that was it? That was the whole- that was it? That was all of it? Wow, I have to say, I am really, really impressed. That was really good. Um, it's such a short- little story but it, it it really hits you right in the spot like i don't know is is in a sense kind of a deep meaningful conversation but with with this nothingness i guess that that's the void that consumes things and i don't know kind of reminds me of just mental awareness and getting into that and and you know being stuck in that zone of feeling like you're not okay or feeling like you don't have a positive impact on people and gosh that feeling sucks but I, I, I think everyone kind of goes through that I don't think there's a human on the planet that doesn't at some point feel like they've done something wrong or um yeah I don't know that was really good thank you so much um so a shout out to Abhishek. I know uh, you are working on doing this kind of stuff for a living. So guys, definitely check out um, his pages and his other games. I'll put the link in the description below and give him a shout out. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what else you, you make out in the, in the future. This is going to be awesome. You've got a really good career ahead of you. I can already tell um, with how deep everything got and the language that you use it's it really touches in a different spot and i think that's what makes your work so different so thank you so much um don't forget to check him out as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe here everything helps and i do appreciate you guys being here as always i will see you in the next one Bye.